Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about endospore staining. So what is this endospore and what is its structure and how it is formed? If you do not know, please do watch my earlier video for the better understanding. A brief introduction about endospore is that these endospores are present within a bacteria and these are a rough dormant and known reproductive structures that are present within a bacteria. And these endospores are formed during the unfavorable condition. So to sustain the unfavorable condition, these endospores help. So what is this endospore staining? Endospore staining is a differential staining technique. And in this, we stain the endospores. So, the main purpose of doing this endospore staining is that we can differentiate bacteria having spores with the known spore forming bacteria. So, we can differentiate a bacteria into two types that is, spore formers and no spore formers. And the second purpose of doing the endospore staining is that. We can differentiate an endospore from the vegetative cell. So this is the two purposes in doing an endospore staining. So there are two methods of endospore staining. One is Schieffer and Fulton method and the second is Donner's method. So these two are the methods used for the endospore staining. So first we will discuss about the Schaffer Fulton's method. So in this method, the primary stain used is malachite green. So this primary stain, that is malachite green, is water soluble. So it has a lower affinity towards the cellular material. So in second step, when we use the decolorizing agent, that is in this case we use water. So when the decolorizing agent is being used, the vegetative cells lose its color. And the counter stain used in this method is saffronin. So, in the counter stain, these vegetative cells take up the pink color. So, the result is that the vegetative cells are pink in color and the endospores will be green in color. So, now let us discuss the reagents used in endospore staining. First, we use a primary stain and here it is malachite green. So we use a 0.5 gram of malachite green and a 100 ml of distilled water. So this is the primary stain concentration. Next, we use a decoloration agent. We either use type tap water or a distilled water. The last reagent used in this method is a counter stain. And a counter stain here is a saffronin. So we use a stock solution, 2.5 gram of saffron O, 100 ml of 95% ethanol. And this is the concentration we use for an saffronin. So now let us discuss the procedure. First, we have to take a clean slide. And at the center, we should make a smear. And the smear should be made only with a sterile technique. So, next step is to air dry or heat set the organism. And we cover it with a coir of bloating paper. So, the next step is to saturate the bloating paper. And we saturate it with melatite green, which is the primary stain. So, we do this treatment for about 5 minutes and after it we wash the slide with tap water. So a counter stain is used and the counter stain here is a saffronin. So 0.5 percentage of saffronin is added for about 30 seconds and after this wash it with tap water and blow dry it. After this step, do examine it under a microscope. The result of this is that the 
and the pores are bright green in color whereas the vegetative cells are brownish red to pink in color so in new way is under a microscope we can see that whether a pore is located at the middle of the position or a terminal or subterminal position we can also see the shape of the endospores whether it is spherical or elliptical in shape so first we apply the primary stain primary stain here is malachite green and after this we heat it and after the heating is done we decolorize it either by distilled water or by tap water and the last step is the application of the counter stain that is saffron so hence after this technique we get pink colored bacterial cells and green colored endospores so this is the result of the saffron and fulton method that is the endospores are bright green in color whereas the vegetative cell is pink in color due to the color difference we can differentiate an endospore easily from a bacteria and hence we can say that the bacterial cell has spores or not and we can also differentiate the endospore from a vegetative cell so doing this method we can satisfy both the purposes of doing endospore staining so now we will discuss the next type of endospore staining that is the next method which is the donor's method so in donor's method we use a carbon fission stain the composition of the carbon fission stain is 0.3 gram of basic fission 10 ml of ethanol which is 95 percentage 5 ml of phenol that is heat melted crystals and 95 ml of distilled water so in this method what we do is that we dissolve the basic fission in ethanol so then we add the phenol dissolved in water we mix it and let it for several days and later filter it before our use the decolorizing solvent used in this method is acid alcohol that is a 97 ml of ethanol which is 95 percent each in 3 ml of hydrochloric acid and the counter stain used in this method is a negrosing solution and the composition used is 10 g of negrosin dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water now let us discuss the procedure of donor's method first we have to take a clean slide and make a smear with sterile techniques next step is to air dry and heat fix the organism and cover the organism with a coil of bloating paper the next step is saturating the bloating paper here we use carbon fission and a period for 5 to 10 minutes and after it we remove the bloating paper and decolorize it with acid alcohol for about 1 minute and this is the next step and after decolorizing step we wash it under a tap water and blow dry it the next step is that we take a drop of negrosin and add to one end of the slide and then make a film of a stain all over the smear next step is to allow the negrosin to air dry and after the step is done we view the slide under a oil immersion the result of this method is that the vegetative cells are colorless the endospores are red in color 
and the background is black in color. So this is the result of Donald's method. In this, the endospores are red in color and the bacterial cell is colorless. The background is dark in color. So hence, we can differentiate the endospores from the bacterial cells and we can also differentiate the pore forming bacteria and the non pore forming bacteria. Now let us discuss an example of endospore forming bacteria. A positive result is given in endospore staining with species of Clostridium and Bacillus. Negative result of endospore staining is given by E. coli and Salmonella. Hope the concept of endospore staining is clear. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel. If you like the video, please like and share with your friends.